Hello everyone and welcome to Ratchet and Clank Tools of Destruction Wrench Only. Nothing has stopped me. Ratchet and Clank 1, 2, 3, Size Matters and Ratchet and Clank Remake PS4 Challenge Difficulty, Challenge Mode Difficulty. None of those could best me. They, they had moments which tried but oh no, none of them bested me. Let's see how the future trilogy holds up, shall we? Before we begin, I guess I'll say one small thing about the cutscenes. I don't know where it begins, or if it's all of them, or just some of them, but some of them sort of lag and glitch out. So, I apologise, but eh, let's do it. Good times. I, I, it's probably my disc. I haven't got a new one. I could have bought a new one. I didn't buy a new one. Let's go! Ride the slipstream of the grav train past the sea grid traffic. Ahem. Launch the mag grappler onto that pedway overpass and slingshot right up to Ratchet. The thrusters are fine, Clank. See? Don't worry, it's probably just a fused ion gun. Incoming message from Captain Quark. Ratchet? Clank? I've uh, got a bit of a situation here at the Planetary Defense Center. Nothing I can't handle, mind you. Just a few thousand. Heavily armed robotic commandos, but I figured, hey, if you were in the neighborhood, maybe. <laughs> Wait, I knew I had some in mind. Hmm. Heavily armed robotic commandos? When aren't they heavily armed? Are you sure this is functioning properly? You worry too much. Planetary Defense Center, here we <laughs> Try out my new nav unit. All right. Welcome back, customer 91802. If you're looking to combat a massive, deadly space armada, the Gadgetron help desk will be happy to assist. How lucky are we? All right, so let's uh, quickly go to options. Uh, game options, I guess. Subtitles, there you go. Alright, so let's see. How does this game fare? Let's see, so... What's the throw? That's the throw button. Cool, good, back into the groove of things. So yeah, it's been a while since I've uh, played Tools Destruction, but I think it is fantastic as a game. Interestingly, I didn't like it as it first came out. And I can only deduce it was because it was at the time where I, like, experienced heavy bullying. So anything around that time, I just associated with that, I guess. Any release around that time. So it was just, it was more a psychological thing than anything. Um, I guess I'll explain, like, eventually I can ignore enemies. I could, I could totally just skip past them. The way I like to deal with things is I like to actually tackle everything. Um, and basically, if I die, then I can move on and not take them on next time uh, but unless I've but if I haven't faced them before I'd like to face them at least once to prove that I can you know that kind of mentality if that makes sense so that's uh that's that's the idea I guess so yeah you think you can best me my friend you're wrong you can't Okay, that thing up there, if I, I, that, that one might, I might not be able to get. The, the others will be fine. Oh, you do two damage, interesting. Easy. <laughs> Child's play. That's what I'm talking about. I'm really looking forward to this, though. It's, it's going to be fun. Oh, boy. Okay, I'm not facing that. I was going to say, do I have to face that thing? Because that's not going to be easy. But no, I don't. 
I like how hitting them with the wrench sends them into the wall. That's pretty good. A little bit of a glitchiness because I'm not doing things the way the game's expecting. That's always nice. I feel good when I do that. So yeah, I, uh, I'm i not sure how difficult this game is going to be. Uh, back when I did Ratchet 2, I posed the question of how difficult will Tachyon be. Because Tachyon, I would say, is arguably one of the hardest bosses in the franchise. Um, it's It got an Insomniac Snow Yeti, Snow Beast Award um, because of its difficulty. Um, that's basically like one of the things... Uh, the Snow Beast Award is given to like the thing that is the least polished and like the thing that, I guess, sucks the most. Um, and Tachyon got it because of its difficulty. It is way too hard. Like, if you, you... You will use up all your ammo, even if you max out all your weapons, in, and with the exception of the Rhino. Like, you just... He has so much health. However, someone has completed this game on journey before, and has proved that this boss is actually not that bad. It's, in fact, way easier with the wrench, ironically enough. So, it should be interesting to see how that goes. Uh, I'm kind of looking forward to it. Um... Mildly scared, sure, but looking forward to it nevertheless. I like that the wrench seems to have... Oh, I nearly just jumped off. The wrench seems to have a little bit of a... Like a... A smash radius around it. So, things already start to... Take a little bit more damage... Um, than would be normal. So that's kind of handy. Um, I'm, I'm on board with that. Can I take that down? I don't think so. I don't think I can just reach them. There are exceptions to my own little rule. I won't be able to hit every enemy. Um, so, I don't even know if I can hurt that with the wrench. Oh, no, I can. I stand corrected. So, that one's too high up, though. Uh, I'll just... I'll ignore you for now. I think this is going to be quite a short first video. Because uh, this world isn't particularly long, it's more the tutorial. I could use a weapon, couldn't I? I won't use a weapon. <laughs> but I could use one. Doesn't mean it's a good idea for me. Three hits. Not bad, not bad. Could be worse. Could be a lot worse. But yeah, no, this world, this tutorial world is not long, so... This, uh, this won't be the longest of videos. Uh, this might be one of those scenarios where I don't take out all the enemies, just because I'm trying to survive. You know- WHOA! <laughs> WHOA! What the f- what? <laughs> I feel like that was not my death. That was something- something certainly happened. I- yeah, yeah, nah, yeah, that's pretty good. The more nanotech you have, the more damage you can take. And the more damage you can deal. Um, your wrench seems to level up with you in terms of power. Um, I'm going to just negate the rule. There are exceptions to the rule. I'm going to negate it just to get past them all because uh, I, I don't want to fly off the bridge, <laughs> believe it or not. wasn't I wasn't expecting that, but it was funny, so... It was that was pretty good. Thanks, guys. Thanks for hurting me. Rude. The height of rudeness right here. Oh, you got away. No! You can't. There we go. I think I'm actually pretty close to the end of this level already. I might be wrong, there might be more that I'm forgetting about, but I think we're near the end. So, yeah. Sh short video. W level 2 is longer, don't, don't you worry. Don't, don't you worry about it one bit. There will be way longer videos in the future, there will be a lot more death and failure. There will probably be sections that I get stuck on for like an hour. That is... The mystical floating box! Um, <laughs> that is the nature of the wrench only run. It is exciting and terrifying at the same time. Get hyped, peeps. Oh, 
Oh no, another train. Oh, I was expecting the end. Clearly I'm mistaken. Alright then. Because I thought it ended after that grind rail section, but I guess not. I guess there's more. Maybe I just need to jump on this. Possibly. Oh wait, no, isn't there a fooling section? There is a fooling I forgot about this. I totally forgot about this. I stand corrected, there is one more section. Yeah. Yeah, that's right. So... This, uh, this game has, like, motion controls with the six-axis six controller, which was never used ever. Um, and, uh, yeah, that, uh, yeah, that, that's used in this game. Uh, you can turn it off, thankfully, because it's awful, but, uh, it is used in this game. I could take this enemy to- no! No, I'm not. Look at- look how fast that bridge is moving. God, no. Are you mad? Oh, boy. <laughs> that was close. There are too many enemies here. You can stop hitting me whenever you feel like it. I'm mildly scared because I don't want them to launch me off. I don't think they're going to. Whee! That face though. <laughs> Tilt the six axis controller. I will turn that off now so that I... Uh, yeah, off. Oh no. Oh, what a shame. I, wow, I hit a truck. A, f a flying truck. Uh, yeah, I can move with the analog stick now. Way more convenient, way, way easier to control, and just, just better in uh, every single way. So, yeah. That, yeah. Looks pretty quiet. Where's Quark? Yeah, this is what I remember. <laughs> I said, this is the end of the level. Oh, oh, I was gonna be fine. I <laughs> nearly, nearly took some, some pretty cool damage there. Well, one death. I, I will take one death. One death in the first level is not bad. That's alright. I will accept this. It's gonna be way more in the next level. The next level, actually, level two of this game is relatively difficult. Not sure how difficult it's going to be with uh, with a wrench. Probably quite. So, yeah, it begins. That's more like it. Science matters was actually a really interesting uh, game to do wrench only because it got harder. Like it got easier. Sorry, the the further I went into the game, strangely enough, it was like two parts of the game, but really, like, conf not confused, but just really caused issue. Not a problem for the wrench master. Nothing can stop me. Legion of Loyal Robotic Commandos, Emperor! 
Not that a treacherous furball like you could... What's this? <laughs> such a primitive robot companion. And your kind used to be such renowned engineers. <laughs> oh, I'd be careful if I were you. He's got posomorphic plastic cannons in his fingertip. My gripe is not with the people of this arcade planet, but with you. Surrender your death bot. And simply allow us to kill you. No one else need be harmed. Fair enough. Here you go! <laughs> Wrench only, bitch! Don't need some weapons to take out Tachyon. Fortunate cryosleep does not work on robots. <laughs> <laughs> 